And now the final two in this first round. Again, they're not shooting against each other. They're shooting to try to become one of the top four with points to advance to the semifinals. Hubert Davis from Dallas, former New York Nick, and Jeff Hornacek from the Utah Jazz. Fred, do you think it's an advantage going last? Now you know a score that you can chase for these two guys? We've just had a uh, an update, a correction on one of the scores. They changed Tracy Murray to now he has 14 points. So keep that straight with what the totals are to beat as we go into the final in the first round. Tell you what, Hubert Davis is a guy who practices more than anybody in this gym as far as shooting. I, I tell you what, Jeff Hornacek, when you look at him, everything it could be a positive for him this time because the last time he was at his event, Doc, he only got seven points. Hubert Davis is on the road. I'm telling you, Hubert Davis right now is on fire. Well, Jeff Hornacek said that last year he tried to copy Danny Ainge's strategy and shoot just standing set shots. He said this year he's going to shoot it in his own rhythm and not worry about it. And Hubert Davis hit eight in a row before he missed. Yeah, now you know what happened. Both of these guys started out on fire, and it looks like they're wearing down a little bit. Hornacek is in it for sure. Well, Jeff Hornacek is really doing a great job because up, he has the lowest score. Hubert leads the money ball. Our Got it! Shot. Hubert Big got it shot. around the rim off the board and back in for Hubert Davis. Hubert Davis. So now let's look points. at the finals here. I believe Davis Jeff has 15. Has yes. 17 I tell you what, that's Jeff Hornacek. Look at this. Last year he shot all set shots. This time he said, I'm going to shoot my regular jumper. I, I talked to him before this. He said, I didn't practice one time. I had something else on my mind. Just before this all-star break, we had to play the Bulls. Yeah, you know, he told me he tried to practice, and they didn't have a ball rack. So, right. so he laid them on the floor and started shooting around. He said it just wasn't the same, so he stopped shooting. He said, I'll tell you something else. He said it was really interesting. He said that, that this year he had to think of the clock. And he had to think of <laughs> He's played here before, and right? He, and he'll always have the Heisman. Boy, hey, he will. Listen. Up next, Hubert Davis. Remember, Hubert hit eight in a row at one point in Ready the first round. Hubert Davis. Hubert is so good, he's decided to shoot with his sweat top on. <laughs> Larry Bird, take notice. Everyone is. I think the start for both, all the little guys left is crucial. That's Huber, a big start. That's a big start. I was talking to him before, and he was real quiet about it. That made me think he was very serious. He's quiet all the time. Hit six in a row before he missed there. But he's making the money ball, Reggie, and that's key. Very key. And again, another leg shooter doing well in a three-point contest. Oh, yeah, he's, Boy, he's, he's rolling. He is rolling. I guess we can clarify this and say he is now on fire. Yes, he is. Look at this. You know one advantage like Charlie Ward. Hubert Davis played with the Knicks. He ran the He is rolling. He's going for all-time best right now. Oh, my. Hubert Davis, money ball. Oh, got it. 23. Whoa. That is impressive. That is impressive. I'm glad I picked him. Yeah, I'm glad I picked him. Remember, the all-time record in any round is 25 by uh, Craig Hodges. The highest score in the semifinals, 24. So he certainly did. And won. right here, Bob, he ran the rack. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Cheryl and Hubert. Hey, Bob, and he's not even broken a sweat. And Hubert, this must be home away from home. It says home away from home, and I'm tired. I'm going to go down and get some water. I'm I'm tired. Hey, was the first round more comfortable than the second? Because the second one, you were just as potent. Well, I just I felt better in the second round. The first round, I just wanted to get out of it. I didn't want to embarrass myself. So it was a lot of fun out there, and I'm just going to go out there and see what I can do. Looks like that score will stand. Let's go back to you, Bob. Okay, Hubert Davis with 20 points in the AT&T long distance shootout there was a coin toss hubert davis won elect to shoot first remember davis hit eight in a row in the first round and 11 in a row in the semifinals the scores don't move forward they'll just start from zero top number wins they have 60 seconds interesting that hubert davis won the toss and decided to go first he's not been in a lot of big pressure situations i think he said i want to put the pressure on well doc be the guy under the gun well doc in 96 shootout he made 17 points didn't advance past the 
first round. But here's a guy who shoots 43% of his threes from behind the arc. So he definitely can get it going. Tell you what, he's rushing right now. Well, it tells me that he didn't want the pressure of knowing what the other guy was going to shoot, huh, Doc? Yeah, you know, I'd rather have the pressure. Yeah. I'd rather know a score that I have to beat. And he's not on pace to finish right now. Oh, he'll finish because he'll speed up. <laughs> See, he'll finish. Well, Smell like we said, it takes... Yeah, he ought to, ought to be able to. You got to have nine seconds to finish a rack. He started off this with 12. All he's got to do is shoot a second, a ball a second. He's got it easily. He needs all three of these to have an easy chance. Got to have this one. And he got him. And he did. So, unofficially, 10 points for Hubert Davis. But you know, in the final round, that's not an awful score. No. And one you thing, have to remember that after three rounds, guys are getting a little leg weary. Well, I think even more importantly, Jeff Hornacek took 12 more shots than Hubert Davis because he had to go to the shootout. Right. And I think that's an important stat. Jeff said he was tired going into that shootout. And remember, the last the last round, Jeff got tired on his last couple of shots yeah. as you watch Hubert Davis trying to finish out the big ball and got it in the clutch. Former New York Nick, now with the Dallas Mavericks, and also with Cheryl Miller. Thanks a lot, Bob Hubert. Last round, 24. 10 this round. How comfortable do you feel with that? Oh, I don't feel too comfortable at all. Not with Jeff here. He's probably going to beat that. He beat that with 24 seconds. So I'm um, hoping he gets a little cold out there. All right, he's hoping he gets cold and has a little faith. Let's see what happens, guys. Well, Bob, he said something.